Now, this is a this is a rather concerning case. I think one of things that are, uh, are here with us now forever is with this morbid fear of terrorism. We had uh, a young boy in England who lives in uh, Lancashire, a 10-year-old Muslim boy, unfortunately. There's two red flags, uh, young and Muslim, uh, living in England, who had, had written a report uh, in which he claimed that he lived in a terrorist house, which he misspelt to mean terrorist house. Now, you can see the immediate problem here. Brown kid, Muslim, terrorist, three flags. The teachers... Can't are... spell. Hey? Can't spell. Can't spell. Uh, well, they did, the teacher didn't think that, Chris. The teacher didn't think he couldn't spell. The teacher reported what was possibly a, uh, a, a terrorist uh, cell. Uh, growing in this child's uh, in this child's home, so uh, his teacher reported it under the new uh, 2015 Counter Terrorism and Security Act, which requires teachers to, at the first sign of anything suspicious, report it immediately to the uh, report it immediately to the authorities. So, um, of course, the authorities went to this young brown Muslim family's house, and um, in the report it says they found a laptop. Oh, that's <laughs> That's questionable term. I wonder where they found it. In a, in a private home. I know. Just, I'm, I'm guessing that I'm guessing it wasn't buried under a clothesline. No, no, it wasn't. In the, they didn't find it in the backyard. They I found it on the so. on the table. It, it probably was on a table, but the wording that they found the laptop, I think, was. Uh, uh, I think it's a bit of a dodgy choice of words, to be completely honest. I think it was. Yeah. That, well, that. Yeah. They own a laptop. Yeah, they like my, a, yeah, yeah. Like most people, they have a laptop. Yeah, yeah, so if you wrote that though, there'd be no terror at all. Yeah, it's um. So it was terraced uh, house, right? It lives in terraced house. Lives in a terraced house, yes. Yeah, not a so, terraced um, house. And they called the uh, well, it wasn't a. So they called the police. They called the police. Teacher, the teacher whose job is to teach him to spell. Yes. He spelled something wrong. It was his fault. Yep. They called the police. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. No, well, it obviously wasn't a Catholic school. They never called the police. <laughs> never. There's, never. You couldn't, never get, you couldn't get a policeman in a Catholic school. No. Nothing, got, nothing is wrong here. It's, um, <laughs> well, I, I went to strict schools, but they, we didn't get the cops in when someone made a spelling mistake. That's, um, that, why, wouldn't they, why wouldn't you put it with a counsellor? to Because that's an easy mistake to figure out, right? It's, yeah. yeah. It, well, so, well, couldn't you just... I mean, look, you don't have to have a trench coat, a boiled egg and a Columbo mask to work out that all you need to do is sit down and go, what does this sentence say? Read that sentence to me. Yeah, I live in terraced houses. I live in a terrace house. Okay, I've spotted the error here. Yeah, it's an E-D, not a T on the end of well, that Well, the one. terrorists have won then. If we're, if we're taking the police to school over spelling mistakes, the terrorists have clearly won. It's over. Congratulations. Well played, terrorists. Yes, I mean, I thought, well, you're right. That's the terrorists have won. The fact that we've said that we do not want terrorists, terrorists are not going to change the way we live, is usually said at the same time by somebody fisting Nana at the airport looking for a nail file. <laughs> but look, I think uh, there, were some, there were some other things we had a look at, Chris, uh, of kids who have, have, oh, yeah. have written some questionable... <laughs> reports that could actually be uh, could actually be dragged in to uh, to investigate them. And this is and this is I think how you deal with it when when kids make funny spelling mistakes. You go, oh, isn't that funny and cute? Aha! Uh -huh. You yes. know you don't you don't call the police. Yes. Someone who did it right got a website together. I got a couple of favourites. Can I tell you my favourites? Yeah, tell me yours. One of my favourites is uh, my dad is the best cock ever. <laughs> Now, it's obviously meant to be cooked, and I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that's a chef's hat he's wearing and not a giant dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell. Sometimes the pictures, when you hear, see the words and you see the pictures, uh, I also like, I like horses, um, and it was spelt whores, or H-O-R-E-S, as, as you can see there, And uh, but I like the list of things. that um, I like horses, and the list of stuff they do, like they like carrots, they do, uh, those do like carrots. They, they can put their legs straight up. They can. Uh, they make you feel good. Dad wants one, but mum says no. <laughs> they do. Mums always say no to hoes. So you know, I don't even know if it is horses. And the most delicious, <laughs> the most delicious president, April Ham Lincoln. He, he would have been slightly glazed, but delicious. Which got an A plus, by the way. Seven out of seven. So yeah. that. 
answer was correct, so God knows what the fucking question was. And maybe we should be calling the police on the teacher that marked that. I think so. Which ones did you like? Okay, I'll tell you who I like. Uh, I really liked uh, this one by this kid who wrote, I like Mrs. Edwards. She is my teacher. I like when she does meth with us. <laughs> I, th- I, I, really, I really did like that one. I thought that was very clever. Um, That's a great... I th- yeah, because who doesn't like meth? You know, especially when you can do it with a teacher. teacher. Yeah. It's, it's a great way to become a teacher's pet. I miss, I bought you an apple bong. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, I like this one. Uh, Dear Mummy, I raped this present for you. I hope you like it. Love, Barnaby. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Barnaby. That was... I'm not very good at raping presents myself. It it's... depends what it is. David Jones. David Jones, they'll rape you for it. After they <laughs> rape your wallet, get giving it to you. And probably, probably one of my favourites was this one. This little kid that's drawn uh, three little pictures with the caption of it, You Cunt Cash Me. And uh, I <laughs> wonder why the cunt couldn't cash him. I, I think it's because he was very fast. He was a fast cunt. He, he was a very fast cunt.